On today's video, I wanna tell you why today, 2021, is the best time for designers in general, whether you're starting out or already in design, no code tools bring you the power to bring more value to your clients or to yourself. And I wanna explain how this works and review some of the tools you should get into if you're a designer now. Let's rock and roll. Hey, design friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux, where we talk about design and building your career as a designer. Today, I wanna to talk about no-code tools and the meaning of what's going on in the industry right now. So if you've been here on the channel, you've probably heard us talking about Webflow again and again. Now, Webflow is a no-code tool that allows designers to build websites, custom design websites with interaction and everything without code. But we're only usually we, we're talking a lot about that because we are designers. Today, I wanna talk about the other design uh, no-code tools that are important for you as a designer to understand and also how to understand the whole ecosystem and what it means for us. First of all, I wanna start off with why is this even important? Look, when I started off as a designer, basically what would be expected of me is to create some designs, whether it was an app or a website, have some, some Photoshop files or something, and then send them over to a developer, perhaps collaborate with them, tell them, oh, make this spacing here or make this work like this. Then after that, that was kind of like early in my career. Then later in my career, the world moved into prototyping tool, right? There came out all of these Envision, all of these kind of tools that allow us to start doing prototypes and actually starting to show our clients how things would actually work. So you'd have a working prototype, right? Framer, all these kind of tools that would allow you to create a prototype where the client can actually feel this product. It is as if it was a real product. It would move, of course, it wouldn't be real, it would only be a mock-up, but these prototypes also included animation and allowed us as designers to provide a lot more value because we're not only the designers, now we're also half building it. It wasn't working, it wasn't functional, but it was halfway there and it made us as designers way more powerful. But right now, and during the last, I think, two, three years, the advancement in new tools, and specifically no-code tools, have brought us into the space that we as designers right now, we don't have to create the prototype anymore. We can actually create the whole thing, working functional product for our clients without code to a very, very high degree of sophistication and tons and tons of functionality. So as I said, we are talking a lot of times about websites when we're talking about um, Webflow, but these websites always live within kind of an ecosystem of they have to do something. So uh, for example, with us, with, with Flux Academy, right? We, our business is a design school. So we have a website, which is our marketing website, right? Fluxacademy.com. That website is then connected to where we host our courses, which is a no code uh, platform called Teachable. And then when people sign up there, they're getting into our email marketing platform to start getting emails from us. And that is on a platform that's called um, Entreport. So all of these, and then people are getting, uh, we wanna know how they did. So they're sending us feedback through forms that are hosted on Typeform. So all of these services connect together and work together in, in having us building a business, a very solid business with you know thousands of customers where we don't have a developer working with us and we can do it on ourselves and build this business. And we can also, as designers, build these kinds of businesses for our clients, again, without code. So you can literally help your client set up a whole business. So I think this is a phenomenal shift in the marketplace because it allows you to not only be a designer, it allows you to be the person that delivers a whole business solution, business solution to the client. That is something that's worth way more than just how it looks visually, right? So this is a huge transformation and I want you to get in on that, right? I wanna show you some of the tools, but I want you to just keep in the, uh, the mindset that you as a designer, you shouldn't just understand how to design things on Sketch, Figma, whatever, and even go ahead and build them on Webflow. I want you to think beyond that into how I'm creating a full-on business solution and giving my clients a full-on business. So let me show you some of the tools. This, The first one is called Adalo, and Adalo is basically a tool for creating apps, right? Whether these are mobile apps or desktop apps. A lot of times I would get the question, 
for specifically for Webflow, can we do this and this and this? And basically the answer that I'm telling them is, hey, you don't wanna build a website, you basically wanna build an app. And you should understand basically the difference between a website, which is a place to consume content, right? Like the, the front of a restaurant or, or something like this, and an app, like Google is an app. You go there, it looks like a website, but you type in something, you get something in the background. So there's front end, back end, there's a logic going on there. There's kind of an algorithm that needs to give you a response, right? Airbnb is an app, right? You make a search, you get a listing. Those listings change based on prices, based on availability. So that is an app. So. Apps are right now in this moment in time, not the best use case for Webflow. However, Adalo is exactly what you would use if you would wanna create an app with a database, with a logic. So this is something that you should get yourself familiar with. The second thing, which is the kind of like the glue that connects these whole, all of these no code businesses is called Zapier. Basically, it's from the technical perspective, what it's called is it's basically a tool that connects APIs of companies. But in <laughs> words of real people who are not technical, it's basically a solution that you can pick almost any two, two services and they, they, again, they have almost everything and you can create a very simple if then logic, right? So here's an example for what we use. If a person submits a form on our website let's say download a resource, then pass this on to our email marketing um, software, add this specific tag so that we know which form he submitted, and then send him this specific sequence of emailing to deliver him what he signed him up for. And then go to our project management system and add whatever, a number or the name of a person there so that we can follow up. So you can create these logics and basically you do this by tapping on boxes. You don't have to write code to create all of these logics. So Zapier is one of the biggest. There's also another service called Integromat. There's basically, they're, they're basically doing the same thing. They are connecting between all of these no code services. So this is something that you should definitely check out. Um, Another one that I really like is Typeform. Typeform is service uh, surveys. So these are very beautifully well-designed. You can create surveys and surveys are great for uh, from client onboarding to people giving you feedback on your service to actually some people run orders and stuff like that um, through, through um, uh, Typeform through surveys. You wanna gather testimonials from your clients or something like that. So with Typeform, very simple. You have a template, you create the survey, looks beautiful on mobile, and then you can embed it or share it or whatever you want. Um, and again, it collaborates. It can talk to all these other services. Um, another tool, I don't know if to call it a, a no-code tool, but Coda is basically what we use for almost anything in our business. Um, it's basically documentation and project management all in the same one. It's kind of, you've probably heard about Notion, which is pretty pretty similar. I, I basically am a fan of Coda just because, first of all, it just runs way faster. So this is what we use for everything, but because of all of these Zapier and no-code automation, a lot of our business sinks into this with automation. So again, when somebody um, for example, in our Webflow course, there's a certification for people who finish the Webflow course. So once they submit the request for certification, which is a type form, right, where they fill in all of their project detail, they click submit, it would go into our Coda doc for our Webflow coaches, and then they will have kind of a new task. Here's the project of this person, go review, um, give him feedback or send him the certificate, right? So this is a process that we have in our business where all of these tools come together. The last one that I wanted to show you is Entreport. This is, again, what we've used for email marketing, basically, but this is very powerful. It's also a CRM. CRM stands for Client Relationship Management, basically where you see all of your contacts, all of your customers, and you can see you know, all the tags they have, how much money they spent with you, and so forth. Um, this is, you might've heard about, uh, there are a lot of other email marketing tool from MailChimp, perhaps you've heard about HubSpot. They, they are all pretty much the same with, with different features. Um, but the reason that I think you should familiar yourself with one or multiple of these solutions is because most businesses, especially those who operate online, should have an email marketing uh, platform to send either newsletters or receipts or something like this for the clients. And so most of the clients you will work with will need some kind of an email marketing platform 
or a CRM, and uh, probably they will ask you for advice. What should I use? So I think you should familiarize yourself with it. Um, I have started earlier on when I was sending newsletters from my blog with MailChimp. That was basically kind of like the tool of the day for sending emails. Today, I also know that ConvertKit is another uh, solution for uh, sending email sequences, especially if you're a creator or something like this. Um, the, the, for the bigger, bigger clients with lots of customers, the solutions are usually either Hub, HubSpot that I've mentioned or Marketo or uh, Entreport. But the truth is, I don't want to confuse you with too much solutions. Most of these things are pretty much similar uh, within this category. But the reason that I'm doing this video is I want you to immerse yourself, go do some research, go experiment with some of these tools so that you'll be able to advise your clients and help them set them up. And again, it's not very dif uh, difficult because once you create an account here, you create an account there, you set up the logic in the middle with Zapier. If somebody submits this form, add this person to you know the database here. And it's pretty, pretty simple, but it's gonna make you so much more powerful and valuable as a designer. I'm super excited about this golden age for designers coming up on us. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite no-code tool? Of course, if you're not subscribed yet to our channel, make sure you do this, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.